everyone. It's time again to hear a new Taylor Swift song. So today, this is Call It What You Want. And I do apologise for the pyjamas. I realised that people aren't really coming to see what I'm wearing. And I don't really want to work. I don't really want to change into clothes just to do this video. So anyways, Taylor has a new video, a new song coming out again today. Call It What You Want. And this is the fourth song that we've heard from Reputation. Or at least it's going to be the fourth song that I hear because I haven't heard it yet. So I've got my headphones again. I'm going to go and find it on iTunes. And while I'm going to find it, I should just mention as well, if you're a UK Taylor Swift fan or Irish Taylor Swift fan, they've now said today that if you pre-order Reputation through Taylor's online store, then you'll get pre-sale tickets or pre-sale access to the Reputation Tour. So if you haven't done that already, if you want to do that, go and check it out. If you're in the US and you want pre-sale tickets, then also check out the website because they have like a really fun contest type thing going on at the moment. And if you're anywhere else, check the website. That's all I can really say. Okay, so um, anyways, we'll go and find that song. I'm excited for this one. I didn't think we were going to get anything else before Reputation came out. And Reputation's coming out very soon. But um, I'm happy. I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. Let's see what Call It What You Want is like. It sounds like there's a matronome there. My castle crumbled overnight. I brought a knife to a gunfight. They took the crown, but it's I love right. when the balance of things is off. Like if you listen to this on headphones, there's a lot going on in this All ear. So cute. I recall late November holding my breath slowly. This one's making me emotional. Call it what you want to. Oh. Like, in terms of the song, it sounds kind of R&B to me. It's not the sort of thing I'd usually draw myself to. But that song, I, like, the message of it, I just like it a lot. I just really do. You know, it's like, they're saying things about me, and he's the one who's getting me through. And it just seems like everybody's been talking about her recently. And, you know, without somebody there to help her through that. That could have been a really tough year for her. It probably has been a really tough year for her, but it's it's nice that there's somebody there kind of getting her through that and, and things. So I was getting a bit emotional listening to that. It was really nice to kind of hear. Because the thing with songs is it could be, it could be just something she made up in her head, but that one seems very, very real. That one seems very sincere and very real life sort of thing it might not be it might not be anything other than just a daydream she's had I don't know but if that's the kind of relationship which she has with her boyfriend then that's goals that really is if you can forget about everything else in the world because you've got the right person by your side that is goals so in terms of how I compare that to the other tracks I see that one being more of an album track and that's okay you know there's some great tracks on albums that don't really ever make it as singles and things I'd prefer if that one stayed as an album track I think that would be like a really nice hidden secret if that was like a song that Swifties knew about but not so much everybody else and I know that sounds really weird but it's sometimes like when things get onto the radio and into TV I don't know sometimes it just kind of sours them a bit like people overanalyze them and things and you know try to say this is the hidden story behind things if that one stayed as an album track I'd be really cool with that I think I'd really like that but at the same time I'd love her to play it on the tour so there we go <laughs> so yeah that's just call it what you want and that's the fourth track we've heard will we hear another one next week i'm not too sure she is down to be on good morning america on the 9th of november will there be something new then i don't know will there be something new before then i don't know it might be that the next time i'm turning on this camera to talk about taylor swift the whole album's out um whatever's coming next i'm excited i think it's gonna be good and i'm gonna go and try and get my tickets for tour so 
wish me luck everybody um thank you very much for watching everybody if you like seeing my reactions to things and you haven't seen them already i've got a playlist over here and there's more coming soon so if you subscribe you'll get to know when i'm bringing out more so win-win thanks very much for watching everybody and see you later bye I don't usually say see you later. <laughs>